Welcome to another edition of the story behind the car and this is a uh, unique vehicle you don't see these they rust it out so much uh, this is a 1988 Jeep Comanche pickup truck and there's actually two of them sitting here and I'm with Zach and Zach you said you built this one uh, yes you and another your buddy Steve yes want to give him some credit yes we got to do that yeah he did uh, turn some wrenches and okay get his hands greasy on it but originally this truck had started out as a two-wheel drive five-speed okay uh, we bought it from somebody local apparently he had saved it it's an original Missouri title Jeep so it's been through everything but it was well kept uh, whenever we checked it out we looked at it we had to have it as soon as we looked at it it's in amazing shape I mean all the trims here um, originally it had a bench seat in it uh, that was kind of the first few things we did we can knew I, that we can I open it up yes you can yeah uh, we, we knew that we wanted to put the Cherokee seats in it and the Cherokee Center Council, so that was one of the first few mods we did to it. And um, we also knew that it needed to be four-wheel drive. Yeah. There's no way you're going to do the wheeling around here in Missouri and not make it four-wheel drive. So we actually had a parts Jeep Cherokee. It was a newer 2000, and we took the axles out from underneath it. Okay. Are they so Dana? It's got... Uh, Chrysler eight and a quarter in the rear. Okay. And it has a Dana 35 in the front. Okay. And then we went ahead and we went with an Iron Rock long arm suspension kit. Three inch, originally an XJ kit that we went with. Okay. And um, it came with Bilstein shocks, um, extended brake lines, all the good stuff. I'm gonna see if I can get down and see, see any yeah, of it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. We had to cut the original contr the control arm mounts off to run the long arms on there and um while we were there we figured might as well you know go through the 231 transfer case so we did a slip yoke eliminator for the rear axle and um barnes four-wheel drive actually had a perch kit for this axle to run with these leaf springs and keep it spring under so we could actually keep it at a three inch lift because you okay you can put the leaf springs over the rear axle it gives you a crazy amount of lift like six and a half so this guy customer my buddy of mine actually wanted to keep it three inch lift so we went ahead and kept it spring under that'll help with the axle wrap all that good stuff and um what's another thing we did to this thing um it had some cooling issues so we took the head off had it sent off did the machining had the diff covers valve or the diff covers powder coated, the uh, valve cover powder coated, and then we hit up case suspension and actually got a triple electric fan set Holy up on cow. this. Yeah. So just trying to keep it cool. It's the old Renix wiring system. It's not the high output like the later years came with, but it was all there. So we wanted to keep it original. Yeah. Is kind of what we were thinking. And, uh, I mean, other than that, we put the Mickey Thompson 31 1050s on here with the 15 by 10 Mickey Thompson wheels, which worked out really well. No rubbage, really. Everything tucked up underneath there. Uh, we did a steering upgrade. It's a ZJ V8 steering upgrade factory. Anything you can get at O'Reilly's. That's how we wanted to build it. Like, if you take this anywhere in the country... You can go to O'Reilly's, you can get the parts, you yeah. can get back on the road, and you're good to go. That's kind of how we wanted to keep it. Outstanding. <clears throat> and then we come across the Bayou 220, and that kind of fits the era <laughs> yeah. of it. So we kind of were like, you know, if you were driving this truck back in the early 90s and you went and picked up a new Bayou four-wheeler, this might have been how it was, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Well, very cool. And these are so unique because they rusted out so much. Yes. People rubbed the crap out of them. As soon as we looked at this truck, we knew we had to take it just a step further. Yeah. You know, that's kind of how it was. Yeah. It had, it, like, I'll probably die and this truck will still be around. Yeah. Is kind of what we were thinking. And I know this isn't one, this is your buddy's, he's not here, but I just want to walk around it just to shoot it just because it's such a unique, you know, you see... You very seldom see, you can go months without seeing a Comanche, and then you see two in one day. I was just telling my buddy, uh, we drove the white one to the gas station the other day, and I was like, you know, 
you park in the gas station, you go in there, you come out, you don't really see another Comanche parked next to you, you know? Yeah. That's different with the newer Mustangs or yeah. anything like that. You'll come out, there'll be another Mustang guy or whatever. But Yes. Not really many Comanches still around on the road, driving. And but I've the, always been told it was because they just rusted out and that they, they didn't treat it, the metal properly, probably. Especially in Missouri, usually the floor pans go really quickly. Um, you know, most of the suspension parts will go quick, the leaf yeah. spring hangers, stuff like that. They rust out really quick. And uh, this is actually a long bed, 91. So this actually has the high output 4.0 in it with the OBD-1 uh, wiring system in it. And he also took the bench seat out and put Jeep Cherokee seats in here. Oh, that, those seats are Cherokee? I saw they had yes. the, the bolsters I, I, on. I believe you could have got these in the Comanche at one point, but yeah. I think it's a very rare option. And these seats are very comfortable. It's pretty much a common swap on most of yeah. these. And I'm going to come over as we wrap up. I'm going to take the mic from you, and I want to see the tattoos on on your hands because I saw oh okay on both hands. Yes, you got the St. Louis Blues and the St. Louis Cardinals. Yep, fan for life on yeah. that one. Nicely done. Born and raised St. Louis. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for uh, telling us the story behind your. Uh, Comanche here and uh, have fun four wheeling. Keep jeeping. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>